Welcome to Bearded Breakers. This is... What name do we want to go for my fingers today? <laughs> well, if you go on BeardedBreakers.com, it's French Fry Fingers, so... That is because they are long and stringy. Right. Um, actually, hold on. All right, welcome to Bearded Breakers. My name is Fat Fingered Himes. Semi-skinny, getting skinnier, on the way to being the skinniest. Fingers Himes, joined along with... This is... Joe, also known as the Bearded Boss. 50-50 company. I don't know how one <laughs> could be boss, but okay. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Um, obviously, there's panic going on here upstairs because Verizon is down, so panic has ensued. Before Joe gracefully says everybody's name to perfection. Thank you. Make him happy there. Um, I want to make sure you guys click all the panels below. It uh, takes you to everything, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just anything. It makes you stay up to date with what the bearded men are doing. Thank you. You like how I threw that in there? Yep. Okay. Um, now, Joe, while you do names, I'm going to start opening the box. All right. So let me go ahead and read off everybody's eBay username in alphabetical city order. And if I can't pronounce your name, I'll probably try. And after I try, I will probably spell it out. After I spell it out, I will try to create a nickname for you to move forward. So there you have it on that. Uh, Diamondbacks, Duffy1. Braves, R-I-C-A, or R-I-C-H-A, 539. I guess you can call it Rich A. Um, Orioles, Battleship706. Welcome back, Battleship. Joined us in our break earlier from today. Um, Red Sox. DMB10385, assuming that's Dave Matthews Band. Oh, new celebrity fan, Mario celebrity. Lopez, him. Yep. Who's the other one? I, I don't want to list all of our clients all off in one spiel, but um, Cubs, Darth A. Ayla. It's D A R T H A A Y L A. Uh, White Sox, Kenny J33. Reds, Big J Dub79. Uh, Indians and Rockies, Lang 3 1. Tigers, Claire Patsy. Astros, Howard Zip. Royals, Battleship 706. Angels, Nathana, or Nat, Natha, Nat Ha Fishy. Dash 69. What's there you go. fishy? It's, it's fishy. Oh. Um, <laughs> Dodgers, Kenny J 3 3. Uh, Brewers and Twins, Battleship 706. Mets, Yankees, and Athletics. Howard Zip. Phillies. Uh, this is one of my least favorite names to have to say out loud, but I go Cubs go. <laughs> oh, you're a big Kyle Schwarber fan. Not a big Cubs fan myself. Big Schwarber fan. That's just the Cleveland nature in me. Um, Pirates and Padres. Howard Zip. Giants. Dave Matthews Band 10385. Mariners, B Whitey907. Cardinals, Howard Zip. Rays, Queen Skid, welcome back. Also joined us earlier today. Uh, Queen Skid, 627. Um, Rangers, DZ99. Blue Jays, Lang31. Nationals, X Wheels X. And last but not least, no team going to Lang31. So, Thank you, everybody, for joining us, especially every single one of you for just joining us, plain and simple. We appreciate returning guys, uh, new guys, girls, however, everybody. Everybody that's here tonight, we appreciate you joining us, uh, offering you some live content on sports while we have everything suspended or canceled with the current situation going on. But um, just to get into this particular product, if you're unfamiliar with it, even though it's been out for a few weeks now, uh, the No, Neem, no Team uh is going to collect all the cards that do not have an actual MLB team. Um, for those that are relocated or just the franchise is expanding and moving, however you want to call it, um, the Expos are going to be going to the Nationals. The Giants are going to be going to the Giants, um, and that's New York to San Fran. And then the Washington Senators are also known as the Minnesota Twins. So um, no team, you will get... All the cards with no team, but you will not be getting Expos, Giants, or Senators cards. But there you have it. Um, 
as Himes is finished with box number one. Also, if you bought into the first break, you're welcome. Speedy fingers. Oh, wow. That's what we should call you. Fast fingers. Well, that's not good if you're with a one. You know, the fast fingers. Yeah. Uh, all those are already separated. Started packaging them. Ready for Joe to ship them. Joe, same thing we did last show. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll save it for next time. Box topper number one. Fastest three homer game. Nice. Aquino, we got his autograph in the earlier break. Good rookie box topper going out to the Reds. Congratulations. And as we get through this, Himes, take us away. Show us something cool. And don't forget to take a look at the backs. Joe Torre. Hope I know everybody, if you tuned in last week, you're excited, hoping we get a French card. Oh, whoa, whoa. Right. Fat fingers maybe is sticking together here. Beady fingers might have gotten a hold of him. Are you good? No. Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm scared because Verizon's cut out. Um, so let me just go into explanation on how we'll work this. Um, Himes will try to catch the short prints and parallels and inserts the best that he can. Uh, he likes to go fast, as you can see. But what we will do is flip it over on the backside and basically highlight anything that has a 401 to 500 or even a yellow back or flip stock back um, those types of things as this product has a variety of short prints 411 alex gordon and we'll highlight all those the best we can if there's something that we miss let us know we'll be glad to go back um otherwise we will also show off the hits as we get them and then at the very end and the randoms that joe loves to do Oh yeah, there are four then and now twenty-four. Then and now randos. I think last week we had like eight. So plenty of those coming at you later on. And these two short prints are not nice white action. socks. Giolito. Refractor. What's that out of? Do you remember? Uh, I want to say nine nine nine, but I think it's a little lower. Then and now. Steven Strasburg, Fergie Jenkins. Uh, our first random. There you go. Like I said, we'll get a handful of those and random eyes at the end of the break. So stay tuned for that. It is on a 999. I nailed that. Per use. They have like faded backs. No. Supposedly there's blank backs. 408. <laughs> Go ahead. Kikichi. <laughs> Kikichi. Is that not good, Joe? No, that was great. Thank you. Remember, we're positive here. And your hit. Pinstripe Club. Glabier <laughs> Torres. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. You good? It is not. It is game used. On the back it said it. About on you. the back it said it was. On the back it says it was. Maybe today earlier cards. Earlier. Uh, Yankees getting the first hit of the break going to Howard Zip. Congratulations on the Glaber Torres Candlestick Willie Mays relic. I'll tell you what, there's what 1,500 cards there. Got 1,500 cards sorted in less than 45 minutes. Okay. So. Don't want to say that's a hero's fee, but real uh, weird flex. Well, I want to see you do those numbers. Those are putting up numbers. NASDAQ stock trading is automated for the first time. Some might say we should get away from that right now. <laughs> okay. Stock market killing it. Reference stop. Grubhub. So no, we cannot give out stock advice. We are not uh, invested in anyone. 498 Charlie Morton. On the raise. Very odd. Our buddy, anytime he thinks he sees some industry going down, he tells us to hammer the stocks. Jonathan Villar. Oh, We're from wow, the 440. Was it the last card that you. Yeah. Short print for the Marlins. We're going to have a lively chat, boys. What do we got going on? Or women. If you're a woman, I, I want to hear from you. 
You know, I have to sit here and listen to Joe's ugly voice all day on Sunday. I would like to hear a feminine whisper in my ear. Oh. You want me to suck helium down or something over here or what? <laughs> Action shot 493. Nice. Mookie bets for Boston. Hopefully you are now a Dodgers fan. <laughs> I love action shots. Credit to me for catching that action shot. Although I will say, a lot of the times, these action cards aren't very actioned. I think there's some where you're just like close up on their face. The action for some. Ooh, a cultural arbitrator arrives at CBS. Dodgers white backing. Who's that? AJ, AJ Pollock. Pollock. Out of 50. White border, though. 492, Jeff McNeil. McNeil? I kneel to nobody. McNeil. Bend the knee. I thought about it. Well, since we might have some time, you know, at home, I might just start watching that over and just stop at the last season. Carlos Martinez, what you 450. Do? Just stop at the last season? You're telling me that was a good season? I mean... If you joined us the first break, you'll be happy to know, too. I got my meal in. Then I'd starve. Your wife is not happy about her cell phone, it sounds like. She called up Verizon. I just hear strongly worded talking. I told her not to stream. I, I don't know. Maybe the phone's it. working now. Uh, Joe, when I start opening up this next box, do you want to share your NPR tweet with our fine folks? Definitely. Kyle Hendricks, 444. 444. 444. Four, four. Four, four gonna be a big run on cardboard i sense coming up all right all right we're going to box numero dos joe can you chillax for a second can't keep up can you just trying to yeah speedy fingers over here fast fingers whatever you want to call yourself i got a dog at home that's waiting for me he's been trying to call me but Phone's not working. Nope. Bad time to be in the phone industry. <laughs> Those poor saps. Is that funny? What? Is that funny? Yeah. Do you know how busy Verizon's are right now? Why is my phone not working? We're all dying. Are you gonna are you gonna talk here or am I going too quick? Should I slow it down? You're going me? extremely fast. Got a lot to catch up on. Well, maybe if you'd stop talking and catch up. All right. So what you wanted me to talk about was the tweet that Bearded Breakers just retweeted. Is that correct? Yeah, we've been very active on Twitter lately. Credit to me. One tweet to Joe. Um, trying to get I that going. Every Sunday. Send me. Uh, you don't. It's an automated tweet. But I automate the tweet. <laughs> and uh, we credit wanna... to me for automation. I went to, <sighs> must have went to school for that. I must have went to school for cleaning. <laughs> so do you want to announce the NPR announcement since you're so uh, heavily educated on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't report that. NPR did. Those nerds. Yeah, they basically just were educating the general population on the coronavirus that everybody's dealing with, obviously, globally. And uh, I guess, based on... The NPR. Once again, this is not our quote. If anything <laughs> does happen, you cannot come back to sue us. We have no idea. The coronavirus, I guess, cannot live on cardboard longer than 24 hours. So if Heinz were to uh, basically take a syringe and pour it on the card. Time, what a time to be homeless. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. Got the safest spot in yeah. our <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, allegedly it's... The virus can't live on there longer than 24 hours, so by the time we get these sorted, shipped, and sent to you, uh, I mean, it'll be longer than 24 hours. But, but it's I, just, Times is like Mr. Clean. If you look at a Mr. Clean bottle, that's what his face looks like. 
he just he might as well eat Purell. Some might say the CDC might say. Uh, <laughs> now, listen, we're doing all the precautions that we can. Obviously, we want to keep everybody safe. Everything's going crazy. Everybody just simmer down. Let's breathe. Let's have some fun. Let's take our time. We won't talk about it We're anymore. We're essentially the only sports live content right now, is other than a couple fights here and there and yeah. some random horse races. Gary Vee might be watching. People are right now, now betting on uh, Je uh, Japanese basketball yeah, league. overseas sports. and which Rugby, I'm surprised rugby's still going on. There's nothing probably going on in Europe since that's like the epicenter Rug of things. I think things. rugby is. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you see... I? Sent it in our group chat that the soccer league announced that they're coming back. And then 30 minutes later, the one head coach of the one team said, oh, yeah, I tested positive. And then, like, an hour later, like, yeah, we're not going back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Box number two, you want to go with topper first? I got it. I know okay. I'm going. All right. Got a little antsy fingers over you, there. You did. Antsy eyes. Ooh. Ooh, Bo Bichette. That's clean. For Toronto. Gotta like that one. Toronto, congratulations on your Bo Bichette box stop. We're going to length three one. That is a sweet. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Pulled a Bo Bichette auto in our previous break. It's true. Stomping. Stomp the art. Is Nick Cannon up there? That's such an elementary autograph. Nothing like, was it Josh Malone? <laughs> Reggie makes Minneapolis his playground? Yeah, that was, that was good. We got two of them in that one break, too. Goodness. Uh, you were such a fan, you bought a couple of them, didn't you? I don't recall. 409, Joe's favorite baseball player, Kyle Schwarber. Wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I did. And 415, DJ, spin those tunes, LeMahieu. Nice short print for the Yankees. Lively crowd again for this break, Joe. Uh, Twitch chat. We go. Keep us entertained. White, Miguel Rojos. As much as we can entertain you back. Uh, out of 50, going to the Marlins. Congrats. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. It. This may be a scary thought, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't know how much more entertainment this brain has in it. Then you're not just born with the natural skill. I was. Ooh. A mini. A uh, mini. I, I didn't, couldn't tell what you're like having a meltdown about. It's back to back, even. That's cool. Kirby Yates. Padres, that is out of 100. 29 out of 100. We'll give that immediately to Joe because no way I will not drop that. <laughs> nice Kirby Yates mini. These fingers catch everything. Four oh one. Just made the cut. Alvis Andrews. That's it for stack one, stack two. Then and now, Reggie Jackson, George Soler. That's our second random. Don't sound happier, Joe. Love randoms. I heard all these cards upside down today. I'm sure Tops is out to get you. My mom is in a panic right now. <laughs> JT Romito. Did she text you? I called. It didn't go anywhere. Okay. That's what she said to you? Yep. Hold her blocked her number. Hunter Dozier. Why didn't you just tell her call star 611? <laughs>
No, that's not what a good tip does. Okay. I'm a loving family man of three kids. That's our first mini, too, we've gotten. That is. Third break in, we finally got a mini. So, well, we still got four more boxes. Intel so. changes the future of computing. Four eighteen, Justice Sheffield, Mariners. Four fifty eight. Gene Segura. <laughs> RIP Chet. The Matrix lives on. And a hit. Wilson Contreras. Cubbies. Game used. Grabbing a nice relic of Wilson Contreras. Contreras. That is gonna go to Darth Ayala. Darthella. Darth Ayala. Oh. Congratulations on your Cubs relic. Four eighty, James Paxton. Yankees. Yes, sir. So, what do you want to talk about? Give me a topic. Anything. Roberto's arm still going at thirty-seven. You know, I'm always willing to give you my opinion. Even if it keeps our friends up until 2 a.m., us fighting back Sometimes and forth. Sometimes that's just necessary. Sometimes you just gotta snopes it. <laughs> Eugene Serez. Sorry about that. Right. Age performers. Thank you. Four ninety nine, Roberto Osuna. Roberto. Watch your wife, watch your kids. Former Blue Jay. Four forty seven, Bryce the Mice. Active action. Nice. Solid hit for the Phillies. Do you remember in Little League when you were running around the bases, you'd hit your helmet so it'd come flying off? Like Kenny Lofton. I did all the time. I was known as a speedster. Speed fingers, speedster, whatever you want to call yourself. What are you trying to say? I'm also fast at. What are you trying to say, Joe? I would uh, inform the audience of your previous nicknames, but... <laughs> the, uh, disservice to you. <laughs> you mean fat fingers? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Were these names said behind my back? No. Okay. You probably called yourself it. Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know. Box number three, almost halfway there. Twitch chat, are you there? No, we're on live support, please. We're gonna going. start sending uh, SOS signals. Try to get you guys to talk. Or girls talk. I'm always nervous to talk to girls. 
Could somebody give me relationship advice? There we go. Oh. We just pillage on. Pillage on in the, the quiet. Just you and I, Joe. Would you guys like us to sing a song? You know, give us a request. Letting you just speak to the radio silence. Well, I mean, Jesus, Carmen. As we're ripping into box number three. Don't be afraid to be the first one. <laughs> Joe, put something on the chat. Get, get it going. Uh, is anybody out there? Hello. Hello. It's me. Put that. See if somebody sings back to us. Nah. Come on. I mean, uh, something here. Jesus. First person to say something gets an extra Beard Breaker sticker. No Gets a window decal. Oh, wow. You're giving those away now. <laughs> I guess. I don't. Gotta get something going on here. Jesus Christ. First person to ask us a question. How about that? Yeah. Just something to get the, the and blood. You can't flowing. be related to any family member. <laughs> I'm, I'm staring really hard. I don't see anything. No activity. Wow, this is. This is something. You know what, Joe? This is my fault. They're amazed how somebody could take such fat fingers and in such a short amount of time make them so skinny. Okay. Joe, I'm down 56 pounds. 56 as this morning. It's a great story. Thank you. All right. Here we go. <laughs> and here we go. Do we just make this like a Charlie Chaplin short film, silent? Do you think we're being punished for what we've done? Box topper number three coming right at you. I believe this looks like a... Greatest moments, it says right on the front. <laughs> God forbid you say it. Clayton <laughs> Kershaw. Oh, most fantastic lefty. Some would say he'd have a World Series ring if it wasn't for a couple garbage cans. Okay. Great box topper going to the Dodgers. Congratulations, Kenny J. And here we go. Another then and now. Here we are today. <laughs> and there we were tomorrow. God. That was like a Chris Farley. Uh, oh, not there. Wait, the Mets? Yeah, and Mets and Dodgers. Dodgers. Third rando. <laughs> that can, can be confirmed. <laughs> We're not using the word confirmed anymore. That word's canceled. Okay. Nice. Alvarez, Jordan Alvarez, new age performers. Is that a 400 something? Yep, 400. 479, Max Kepler. 401, Joe, it starts. Hey. Yes, Jack Diesel has asked us a question. Hey, hey, what's your thoughts on investigating a junk wax rookie? Hmm. Thought in investigating in junk wax. I'll let Joe go first on this one. I will, it's fine. I personally value rookie cards no matter what era. I think value cards carry value despite being potentially in the 80s, the 90s. I mean, there's clear outliers there. 
such as the Griffies. An instant classic debut, Willy Wonka. Um, I mean, first time, first ballot Hall of Famers are like a good rule of thumb. If you can find their rookie cards during the junk era, which now we're getting to see them become Hall of Famers, I would say those cards are worth seeking and worth awesome investigating <laughs> for using the same word there. But Jack Diesel, let us know what eBay username you got. It was not too much of a hardship to respond twice in Twitch chat today. Uh, we'll be glad to give you an extra sticker or window decal. Austin Riley, 491. You know what our issue was? Was I, I think last week we had such an active We had a very active. Chat. You're very active. I mean, you're just, you know, working out these days, getting all this blood flowing, very active. Hey, hey JT so, Romuto. Oh, you're going to say Game speaking of active, and there's going to be a pull of the short print. Yeah, like excited. Uh, JT Romuto. Phillies, Phillies. Third relic of the break. And that is going to I Go Cubs Go. We're going to piece together a quilt if we keep getting all these relics. I go Cubs go. My thoughts. Oh yeah, let's let's hear your answer, Himes. I personally think if you like the cards you collect them, I don't care if it's junk gear or not. Okay. So if I wanted to buy a rookie card, that might be a little bit more depending on where. Do you it's own at. a Bo Jackson rookie card right now? No. Shameful. Shameful. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you even know who Bo Jackson is? Oh. <laughs> he is the greatest. How long until we get Hulu or Netflix for free because of all this? Disney Plus. They, do you see they're releasing uh, Frozen, Frozen 2? Yeah. But they're not making the whole ser- like thing free. What if somebody... Dude, the better question is, is ESPN going to release the Jordan documentary? I heard they're fighting them me. to get that done. Yeah. Don's one hitter propels surging um, Dodgers. I saw a ton of people tweeting them like, hey, ESPN, if you want to own the market, now's the time to release this. Because they've been pimping that thing out for two years. I remember seeing the preview on ESPN in 2018. I will admit, yesterday I watched Space Jam, one of my top 10 favorite movies. You've been having weird Saturdays. Mewtwo movie. Well, you know, I got to babysit... uh, not even a toddler, still an infant. Babysit, that's your child. Yeah, but I'm saying you I, don't I get to watch. Your child. 454, Shane Bieber. I get to watch. Ooh, are uh, we going back into Joe's parenting corner like we did last weekend? Did you call out this Chavez blueprint? I don't know. Number 500, Chavez. Ch- I thought Chavez? it was, I thought it was. In the middle of this. I part. thought it was 401 to 499. 500, the set goes to 500. Oh, I didn't know. 500 might just be a special one. It is a special one, <laughs> exactly. That was in the last stack Heim uh-huh. just gave me. They're finding it extremely hard to respond again on the... Yeah. That's all right. We'll talk to each other, Heim. Nothing but a bunch of old pals. Can't just uh Remember that time you fought a guy over a grilled cheese? <laughs> yeah, that was juvenile. <laughs> What's that? What you said to your immature days? Gibby continues dominance. Remember when you knocked me out with a, uh, it was on my 20th birthday. You hit me in the head with a uh, racquetball ball. Ah, that's true. It made me pass out. And the last thing I saw before I passed out was you laughing at me. Raphael Devers, whiteboard. You know what? Sometimes you just need to get hit in the head to come to your senses. Nice out of 50 Devers. 46, John Lester. Four sixty five, Matt Fried. Just pulled his autograph earlier today. Not in this break. Not yet in this. How about that? Okay, well, not. We don't. How about know, that? We don't know it's going to be in there. Oh, 
Polo Grounds, Willie Mays. Oh my god. You okay? Problem. My mom's a hypochondria. Not the only one in this world that is. Yeah, you, your wife. Is she singing to your daughter? It is. Do you sing to your daughter? Definitely. Usually it's a Backstreet Boys song. 487, Nick Sanels. You like Backstreet Boys too, huh? I grew up on them. I'm a think... millennial. I'm pretty sure that... Well, they Were had, you more... What was that CD <sighs> album, The Millennium? I can't, By the Backstreet Boys, you can't get any more millennial I can't, than that. I can't believe this is where we're at. Were you more of a back? We are Backstreet sure. Boys. I already. Knew I, was yeah, I, was, I was in sync. I was an in sync guy. That explains a lot of our differences. A big Justin Timberlake fan. If there was one guy I were to ever go on a date with or try to date, it would be. He's a gorgeous man. I have no issues mm -hmm. saying that. Um, I can't believe you're a Backstreet guy. I'm more of a. Yeah. Why? I don't know. They were just better songs. Dude, the the NSYNC were like name one song better that NSYNC had than Backstreet Boys. They were just too too much of dancers. Like that's what they were. <laughs> that's what Backstreet. Although I will admit, that's Justin Timberlake's a very talented person. So, but that's what Backstreet Boys were. Backstreet aren't, Boys were just. Aren't you a Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon fan? Yeah. So you're talking crap about his boyfriend? They who Tim Timberlake? Justin Timberlake. I like Timberlake. But you. But I like Timberlake. I don't like. And sync more than Backstreet Boys. But baby, bye, 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 bye. Plus, there was a Joey in the Backstreet Boys, so I could relate. Joey Fertone, he's big now. I can relate. He owns hot dog stands. Really? Yeah, he was on, actually, Dude, they were connecting this break with our last break, he was on Impractical Jokers. He's friends with those guys. Okay. I don't know, just... It was always my jam. Wow. Backstreet, huh? Backstreet's back. Didn't they just start to kind of like come back around again? Like yeah, going to work? So, yeah. I don't know where this friendship's going anymore. Backstreet and Sneak. I mean, this I'm is a... young age. This is so many years ago, it's not even relevant today. Backstreet Boys? I mean, just the argument of who you like more, like, who I think cares? It's, I it think was it's 20 years ago. Oh, okay. You could just appreciate both of them for their what you don't care about music now. You don't care about, like, certain terrorist attacks that might have happened that has almost to do 20, with it. but it happened almost 20 years ago. I'm just saying you can appreciate both NSYNC and Backstreet Boys today without having an argument, because both of them aren't making music... To the extent that it's a relevant conversation today. All right. You just seem like you're getting very upset that I saw. Oh my god, you're talking to me about the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and relating it to terrorism. <laughs> it seems like, God, somebody please save me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I got a question. How long ago did you suspend going to the gym? Was it this week or was it like last week? Only, and I probably won't return until April. I'll maintain my membership. I'm just are you are taking you, preventative actions on my own to not go to a germy environment. Are you going to release a statement of when you'll be? A, a I should. I should put a public service <laughs> announcement on my personal Twitter that states the situation. That's why I do. But I mean. I like to move in silence, unlike others. So people don't care if I do or don't go. So I just don't post it. <laughs> people don't understand satire our age. That's the issue. That's the issue. Those are great satire posts. All right. Thank God. I'm going to move any slower that time. I'm dying. A miserable pack opening. <laughs> I'm dying out. Miserable. Heinz, can you tell us what's Dude, in the box need, topper? We need, we need something else here. This I left... Cool. I left the flaps open, so you I know you complain. left the flaps, but it's but now you're still complaining. I think you're just Something's a natural complainer. Oh, 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 oh. You or me, who's the natural just, complainer? Uh, you know, calling how I see it there. Rod Carew. Rod Carew. Ooh. I announce the names, Rod please. Rod Carew. I uh, I announce the names. All right. Rod Carew. 
a nice great moment there rod's the fan favorite much like i am of beer breakers going to the twins congratulations a lot of great moments cards were you a bernie spears fan we do were you oh wait what were you... How many times do you listen you to what I actually asked? Yeah. Spears singing, referencing my wife singing no, my child upstairs. No, I meant, do you, are you a Britney Spears fan? I mean, I know a few songs. I was more of an Aguilera girl, a guy. Girl, slave? However you want, what? So wasn't that one song, Slave? By Spears? I'm a slave. That's Spears. Oh, was it? Aguilera, what sing was... your favorite French song. <laughs> what was the one where she's in As, there? Just so everybody Austin knows, Meadows? if we pull a French card, You're in Himes treat. will start singing the lyrics to his favorite Christine Aguilera song. How much are you hoping that we pull a French card? 148 Amir Garrett, hide your head, he'll knock it off. Okay. You got in that fight when we traded I'm aware. Queen? I'm aware. It didn't seem like you were. Uh oh. You got another hit in there? No. Refractor. Luis Castilla. He was kept in our fancy Fancy. Baseball league. It was very controversial kept. Nolan Harness controls pirates. I'm going to suggest that we should reset a keeper time then. Please. 552, David Peralta. I want to announce I'm just in you that. 452? 552. Oh, 452. I'm in that league just to cause chaos. Okay. I'm going to vote opposite of everybody. Whatever you want to do with your $100, you can do with your $100. I'm not going to tell you yes or no, or that's cool, that's not cool. Aaron, top MLB All-Star game vote getter. If you want to complicate the commissioner's life, then so be it. Because nobody else in this room has ever done no. that. Give me my money. Uh-oh. Who's that? Phones are ringing off the hook here at the headquarters. Don't it, like answer. Don't say anything. Just see if it uh, oh ground. See if it goes to ends again right away. Curious. Answering my phone as we speak, but I cannot hear you. Oh, yep, there it goes. I did it? Gone. Wow. It's gone just like that. This is the end. Cleveland's having some uh, drop phoned yes. issues. David Fletcher. 45. Oh, look at that. I've done it now. Ah, uh, look through those. I think we got this one already. Fergie Jenkins and Steven Strasburg. No, we had a Strasburg and a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. They're two different cards, though. Is one numbered? That one's number one. This one's number 12. So, oh, do you want no. to just show that real quick? Just so we, I mean... We can give one or the other to each other or just randomize both. If I... you're both in the chat, this might be a hard thing to do. <laughs> but if you're both in the chat and you guys agree which ones you guys want, then we don't have to randomize. If not, Joe likes a good randomizing. 404, Marwin Gonzalez. All right, so if you have the Cubs, or the Nationals. You two are in the chat. If you guys can peaceably agree which one you want or which one wants which, 
let us know. Be happy to do so. Otherwise, we'll probably just randomize, randomize them, and so be so be it. Nick Wintergreen, I like the gum. White Border. Candlestick, Willie Mays. Do we get a relic in this? We have three relics. Four box, uh uh. Four sixty seven, Paul Goldie Schmidt. Looking back to see if I see anything. Four thirteen, Kenston Herrera. Uh oh, do we actually have an autograph? Hopefully. I wasn't looking at the front, so I was looking at the back, so going back. Then through. and now. Joe Torrey and Anthony Rendon. That's another random. And Joe, I don't see. I don't see not I don't see anything. Naturally. I'm looking back through to see if there's something. A real autograph or relic in every box. Uh Link Wyatt in the Twitch chat says I have the Cubs and I would like the number twelve if possible. So that's in regards to the random. We got a number one and a number twelve. So he is claiming the twelve and Link Wyatt, just so you hear us and what not when we get to the randomized part we'll give uh the opposite owner that amount of time to answer john lester if uh he agrees then that's fine by us if he does not respond we unfortunately will have to randomize it just to be fair but we will allow as much time as possible did you look through those really quick to uh, see? Am, see if there's any autograph with a different color base you got a lot of piles over here that you're just setting aside. Did you run through these little bits? What is it usually? Blue or red ink? Yeah. Pops did this to us. What, a couple weeks ago? Not with Heritage. No, but they did it back to back. I checked all those. See anything else, Joe? I have not yet. Everything's just standard black color. Bear with us for a minute as we're double checking this last box, see if we have an autograph. So great. Another time to reach out to Tops. You have that box. Here she is. Give us one second. Essentially, if we don't find it, which we haven't, we'll look through the video on that was box number four. We'll look through the box number four again. I'm doing now, and I don't see anything. We'll that's watch a different the color in terms of an autograph. We'll watch the video just to double check. 
when we don't see anything in the video we send the video we send some paperwork and stuff off to tops and then what happens is tops in about a week or so maybe a little bit longer with everything they officially going on. say two to four weeks however that's true with the virus occurring i'm not sure if that will delay anything but they were pretty prompt when we reached out to them last It's odd. So if you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anything like that, we will post an update what happens from Tops. Like we said, they'll mail us out a hit. We have no choice. We don't get to like pick or anything like that. They just mail something out. When they do that, we'll post it on our Facebook and everything. Um, Is it guaranteed in this? Yeah. Yeah. Um. We'll post it on our Instagram, Facebook, whatever, um, just to show you guys what it is. And then we'll actually ship it out to that person, whoever it was. Whoever the winner is. Once again, we have no say. It still is kind of random because we can't tell them, hey, send us this person. So, yeah. It's unfortunate. However. I'm double and triple checking, though, the stack just to see. We have three relics, yeah. We have only three relics so far, and fourth box did not get anything that we saw. Very odd. Tops must have some quality issues going into 2020. For us not to have this problem ever. The third box this third year. Box this year. Box number five. And here we go. Set the cards over here as I'm doing that. What? I had to move those because there's set cards there. Refractor. Yeah. DJ LeMayhew. 415. Then and now, Lou Brock, Malik Smith. That is another rando. His favorite. Uh, 
Mexico still triple checking? I am. I'm in disbelief. 433. Oh, Teddy. 439, Luis Castillo. We obviously aren't happy when that happens. Nothing. Willie Mays, candlestick. And confirm that I've gone through everything three times in that box and nothing. Look at the fronts, look at the backs. Four fifty seven, Pete Alonzo. Polar Bear. <laughs> Stack one complete. Oh, Kyle Lewis, Mariners on card auto. Nice. Finally, we see something there. Yeah. See how it's blue? Blue ink. Going to the Mariners. Great on card auto for B Whitey907. Congratulations on our first autograph of the break. Oh, I forgot the box topper. Willie Mays. Was this your first time? Yep. This hides back there. I forget about it. Right there. Because it stays on camera. I'll just set it somewhere on camera that's still seeable for so, you to remember. I don't want it to get covered by uh, the wrappers by putting it in front, and there's not enough room on the side. Then and now, Fergie Jenkins, Ooh, Steven same? Strasburg. That's the same as one of them. That's the number one. Duplicates of number one, so we're going to keep those aside, but we're not going to randomize it um, just because we'll give you guys both one. And in terms of the other one, number 12, that Link Wyatt was mentioning, we still only have one of those. So 489, um, Aaron Hicks. We don't have to wait for anybody's response, but we will wait for hopefully pulling another one so we can just give you guys both uh, one of each. Giftness. New Age Performers of Vlad Guerrero Jr. Four thirty four. Dwight Smith Jr. Isn't that a basketball player too? For the Knicks. I think. He got traded to the Mavericks. And it's Dennis. Dennis Smith. The last stack for box five. Disney's East Coast flagship starts slow. Open it all right now. Oh. New Age Performers, George Springer.
447 Bryce Harper regular version we got the action one earlier Four fourteen, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Last stack on box five. Aaron, top MLB All Star vote getter. Four sixty nine Julio Urias and finally the box topper that Joe forgot about. <laughs> Tom Seaver, one of the game's greatest moments, Tom extends scoreless streak. Nice little bookmarker there. Nice. Fox Topper going to the Mets. Congratulations to Howard Zip. Oh, last box of Heritage. Ooh, throwback card. opening up here any other questions for us something this is getting uh, painful there what I said you're almost there I wish I could scroll through Twitter while I was doing this just making sure there's nothing uh, urgent to report anybody making fun of Verizon yet no, they basically it was somebody saying uh, day two of watch of no sports I've noticed this female on my couch yeah. <laughs> appears to be my wife she seems nice <laughs> Alright. 
final box. Final we box stopper. Made it this far. I always get nervous opening these cards because I feel like they're so like frail. And of course not. this one's gonna open up extra weird. Ooh, nice little Von Joshua. Dodgers. Nice. Interesting throwback for the Dodgers. At a 266 back in 1970. An instant classic debut, Willy Wonka. Chocolate Factory. Nice. Nice little white Paul DeLong. Out of 50 for the Cardinals. Crayfield saying, what is up, everyone? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Kyle Schwarber, Cubs. Welcome to the party. We've been waiting for you. We're dying over here for some somebody to talk to other than ourselves. 415, play that track, DJ LeMahieu. You love that dad joke. What's wrong with a good dad joke, huh? I'm just saying you love that one. You should your go to. You should be full of dad jokes. Polo Grounds, Willie Mays. Need some tick? Need some tick. I don't want to answer that. That could be... Uh, um, go ahead and say no. I'm going to say maybe. Oh. Elvis Andrews, 401. Times was confessing his Justin Timberlake love earlier this break, so... Yeah, give him some tick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> The tic tac, right? This is this is where the show goes off the rails. Don's one hitter pur purges the Dodgers, repels the Dodgers. TLC, it was auto corrected. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want to know what you're. Uh, Himes does need some TLC. Uh, how do I need some TLC? I, I don't need, know. He just seems... I need a good rub down. Seems a little off today. Jack Flannery. New Age Performers. Nice. Chappy Lips. Matt Chappy <laughs> 468, Matt Chapman. Any national hits? I do not think so. National hits. 487, Hunter Dozier. I really don't think so. That's why I said it. I was just confirming by not saying confirming. You can't say that right now. <laughs> 418 Justice Sheffield. Last little stack. Get a hit in the next pile. Then and now. Harvin Killebrew, Jose Abreu, then and now, Twins, White Sox. Another random. Every single one of these, then and nows. Up for one. Up for one, because we got two, doubles. Technically. Yeah.
Louis Armstrong, worldwide tributes after uh, Stack goes death. Oh, I don't. It is. Daylight savings time. Be all year. Mike Yostremski. Nice. Giants. Were you saying nice because I pronounced it correctly? Dual reason. Thank you. Four ninety nine Roberto Osuna. Second one of those today. Four sixty six Mike Trout action shot. Nice. Gonna like that one. Angels. Pulled the uh, Mike Trout silver in our first break. We did, we did. Now in action for the mix. Tusaki Tutu. Hits coming up a very end here. Be prepared. And your hit from box six, Aquino. Nice rookie relic. Game used. Wow. It was during one of his three-run home run games. Yeah, right. Beautiful. For Cincy. Reds getting the last hit. And that is going to go to... Big J Dub Seven Nine Paxson Four Eighty And that is it on the short prints. Give us a second while Joe gets everything together. We'll show off the hits here in a second. And then Joe will start the marathon. The randoms. Second, he's working tirelessly. Sorry, here's the action uh, out of 99 refractors, out of 571 refractors, out of 50 refractors, box stopper, mini relics, auto. Which I was watching last time, I don't know, just give me a nice little stack there. Von Joshua. Buy myself some time Mike to Trout. catch up. Clayton Kershaw, you're already behind. Bryce Harper. Mookie Betts. Those are the short prints of action, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, Matt Chapman. DJ LeMahieu. Hugh, Hugh. Lucas Gilado. Luis Castillo. Paul DeYoung. Nick Wintgreen. Rafael Devers. AJ Pollock. Apparently, we're. Putting everything in these. Kirby Yates. It's a mini. Come on. I figured that was obvious. Uh, Aquino. JT Remuto. Wilson Contreras. Galabier Torres. And the auto. Kyle Lewis. And don't forget, we will get a hold of Pini or uh, Tops. Figure out where the heck our hit is for the other one. I'm sure they'll ship something out. From box number four. We will keep you abreast to that situation. So you're going to have to tell me how many we got there. The first two are the same. So I just want to re-explain one more time so everybody's clear on what's going on. It's so the got... same thing when we get duplicate cards with everything. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's literally. Times, times is that's... just as vague as vague can be. So there you go. It's Figure a duplicate it card. Each one gets one. There's two teams, two, two cards. How many you got? Um, six. Mm. 
Who are you tell them to look for? Do you want to run through the cards and tell me who's on what, or do you want to just wait for me to give the spiel? I usually give the spiel, and then... All right, don't stare at the center for too long. All right, so we're on random.org, and essentially anytime we have not a majority owner of a card or not duplicates, as Himes was trying to explain but failed to not explain at all, um, we go through this process. So we're on random.org. We're going to put the team that is on each of the card or each team that's on the card, um, randomize it three times, and the team that's on top will be the winner of that card. So that will be how it's distributed. As Haim said, we got six randoms to go through. And the first appears to be the Cubs and Nationals. Cubs Nationals, yep. And that is Freddie Jenkins and Steven Strasburg. I think that's number 12, as it was mentioned in the Twitch chat. So correct. good luck. And here we go. There's one. There's two. And... There is three going to the Cubs. Cubs' favorite team. Congratulations. All right. The next card. Twins, White Sox, Harmon Killebrew, and Jose Abreu. Good luck. One, two, and three going to the White Sox. Congratulations. Next random. Cardinals and Mariners. Uh, Lou Brock and Malik Smith. Okay. Good luck. One, two, and three. Going to the Mariners. Random number four. Cardinals and Nationals. Joe Torre and Anthony Rendon. Good luck. Two, three, going to the Cardinals. Random number five. Mets and Dodgers, and that's Tom Seaver and Ryu. Good luck. Ryu sounds like the name of a Pokemon. There's two and three, going to the Mets. And then our sixth and final random. Athletics and Royals. And that's Reggie Jackson and George Soler. Good luck to those two teams. One, two, and three going to the A's, also known as the Athletics. So there you go. There is all of our randoms. Let's bring everybody back. Boom. Alrighty, thank you guys for breaking with us today. Next week we will have um some of what we broke earlier. 2020 Panini Donruss baseball. Um so make sure you guys hit on that. Uh we were talking about maybe also doing a break of Tom Top Tom's Tops Inception as well. Maybe take that tick out of your mouth. Say it the right way the first time. Have you been waiting to say that one? <laughs> uh, make sure you guys follow the, us though on all our social media. Check out our uh, our website. We have a calendar up that will guys keep, will keep you guys up to date with everything we have on there. Make sure you quick click. God, <laughs> make sure you click the Twitch panels below. Thank you guys for uh, joining us for uh, this time. Yeah, we appreciate it. Stay safe and healthy out there. Thank Ooh. you.